Hey there, everybody. I got a um, c couple things on my mind, and um, if, you, if you know me, like, I don't know how to explain it. So, I get very overwhelmed, and when a lot of things happen at once, I have a hard time focusing, and so I saw this video last night because I was talking about repetition, because like in autism, with my son, he does things repetitively, and I never really could understand why, but I mean, I did, but because we learn better. But on the other hand, see, I'm probably not going to have enough time for the video, so I'll skip up some, um, see how I can't concentrate. On the other hand, I, I knew repetition, you know, taught him, and that's how he learns through repetition. Um, so when I looked up repetition, like in a different way, say, compared to what they talk about in his school or what, um, I found this video, which I see myself in. So, but I'm trying to understand myself. So I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, no copyright intended. Hey, how's it going? Ed Reiner here. I am a licensed life success consultant with Bob Proctor's Life Success Consulting Companies. And I want to welcome you to this video. Because in this short video, I'm going to go over with you an idea that is extremely important when we're trying to reprogram our minds. We've all heard the saying that repetition is the mother of all skill. And I'm going to go over why repetition is extremely important when we're trying to change our paradigms or change our habits. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little diagram up here to illustrate this for you. So this black line here, we're going to let this black line represent the sound of an audio plane. It could be a CD, it could be you listening to a video, it could actually even be you reading a book. So the black line is the sound of an audio plane. Now we're going to have a blue line up here, and this here is going to be a thought frequency. So this blue line represents thought, a thought frequency. Now what happens is when you're listening to an audio or reading a book, okay, you're engaged in the ideas. And so we'll let the red line here, this red line is going to represent us listening to the audio. So we're listening to the CD or the audio plane, and at some point an idea will hit. And we'll get an idea from whatever we heard on that audio and our mind begins to go off on a bit of a trip. And we start thinking about that idea that we heard down here. We're not listening to the CD anymore. The CD is still playing. The audio is still playing. But we're up here thinking about that idea. Once we've finished that thought, then we come back down here and we start listening to the audio again. And off we go. And then at some point again, bam, another idea hits. And we get an idea, and our mind goes off again, and we start thinking about that idea, and we're thinking, God, what a great idea this is. This just makes so much sense. And our mind is going off on a thought trip, and once we finish that thought trip, we come right back down again, and we continue listening to the audio. And this process goes on and on. Every time we're listening, ideas hit us, and we start thinking about those ideas, and when we're done, we come back down again, and we continue then listening to the CD. And that's the way it goes. It's the repetition of going over and over on these audios that's important because we keep getting new and great ideas. You know, there's, there's times I bet you can relate to when you've read a book or you've listened to an audio and you think to yourself, geez, I never even heard that the first time. And it's not like somebody went in and re-recorded the audio and put new information in. Or if you've read a book and you go through and read the book the second time, 
things will start to pop at, out at you and you're like what happened i never i totally skipped past that point it's because while we're engaged here when we go on these thought trips we miss all of the ideas that are presented these here are the missed ideas that are presented on the audio or in the book we totally miss them because our minds are up here on this thought frequency and we're thinking about that idea so that means the next time then when we're listening we may come off and come over here and we may have the thought idea hit over here because we've already listened to this information and we go off on another thought idea so it's extremely important that we continually listen to good information read good books things that are going to help you grow and become a better person because it's the repetition of doing these things over and over that you keep getting new ideas they're going to help better you and they're going to help better you in your relationships in your business in your spiritual life whatever part it may be that you want to improve the results it's the repetition of these ideas going on over and over and over again that's going to help reprogram your mind it's going to help change those paradigms you know it's going to help you to create new habits successful habits that are going to take you to where you want to go so that's all the time that we're going to take today on this lesson to get more powerful information like this what i want you to do is i want you to subscribe to this channel right up above up there there's you're going to see a button like this i want you to subscribe to this channel i want you to leave me your comments below rate this video all right, so my question is, all right, I'm going to click back to the line where he showed, you know, and then when he shows, like, the missed ideas. Okay. All right. I don't know if you can see that. All right, what happens to me is somebody's talking and I'm, I'm like over here and all this other crap is coming in my brain, which sometimes is like so good. But I'm missing, see I'm missing as I'm thinking. And then I might come back like he said, but now I'm on, but then now I'm going up, I'm, I'm missing again what he's talking about. And same thing, and all this crap keeps happening in my mind and like I know that I'm like processing it but I go way off into all this other crap which gives me all my ideas but then I'm never ever hearing the whole song or the whole speech and I do have to sit and do it again and again and again and play the song or play the video like 50 times I mean maybe not 50 but the, the thing is a guy wrote in the comment, which was so interesting, and I totally agree with it. He said, LOL, that is so me, but a whole lot more green boxes must be ADD. LOL, thanks, great video. And I think it's a great video, too, um, but I believe that I have ADHD or ADD because... It takes me so much longer to process something and I get so down on myself and sick of myself. So anybody out there that has more ideas, like he, he's talking about this with being successful somehow and I'm not, I'm quite not comprehending. I can understand ideas and success, but I can't, I'm not good at processing it all. My phone's going to shut off because I only had like nine minutes, so maybe I could do another one.